The comic book aesthetic has an undeniable influence on popular culture. They're nostalgic, reminding you of comic books, cartoons, and advertisements of your youth, but they're also the visual language of our fringe subculture, often used to question authority and public opinion with satire, irony, and hyperbole. The perfect medium to insert some of these conversations into art. Let's get to it. Five artists in five minutes. Of course, I have to start off with the first person that comes to mind, and that is Roy Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein is an American pop artist whose works are mainly inspired from comic strips. Their hand-painted canvases drawn from carefully chosen comic strips made in his signature hard edge style with bende dots. They're often tongue-in-cheek parodies of the originals, sometimes read as endorsement of a patronizing view of comic books by the art mainstream. The paintings are drawn from enlarged panels of comic books by comic book artists, including artists like Jack Kirby and DC artists like Russ Hirth, Tony Abruzzo, Irv Novick, and Jerry Grandinetti. Although relatively close, they're not exact copies of the originals, and this has raised concerns over the appropriation of the imagery, as the comic book artists rarely received any credit. On the criticism, Lichtenstein said, I am nominally copying, but I'm really restating the copied thing in other terms. In doing that, the original acquires a totally different texture. It isn't thick or thin brushstrokes, it's dots and flat colors and unyielding lines. The closer my work is to the original, the more threatening and critical the content. However, my work is entirely transformed in that my purpose and perception are entirely different. I think my paintings are critically transformed, but it would be difficult to prove it in any rational line of argument. Arturo Herrera is a Venezuelan artist who lives and works in New York and Berlin. He's known for works that collage images with fragments of cartoon and the abstract. He cuts paper gathered from various mediums and sources, mixing, splicing, and recontextualizing imagery that he then glues together for a provocative, open-ended work. Highly interested in memories, he inserts fragments of cartoon that invoke memories of recollection. At the border of figure and abstract, he subverts the innocence of cartoon and points to a darker psychology. Robert Crumb, or R. Crumb, is actually an American cartoonist. He's known for more underground comic publications with Zap Comics, Fritz the Cat, and Mr. Natural. His comics often include countercultural characters and satirizes American culture. No stranger to controversy, in 2009, the cartoonist published the Book of Genesis, a comic book that Crumb described as a faithful, literal illustration of the Book of Genesis from the Hebrew Bible. The book took four years to finish, drawn from his signature scratchy, obsessively cross-hatched style. While many expected the work to be a satire, it was surprisingly straight-faced. Crumb said that he had originally intended to do a send-up of the Book of Genesis, but he said, I fooled around in the sketchbooks with those ideas and I just, I didn't like how it was working out, so I just decided to do a straight illustration job of it. It seemed to me that the original text was so strange in its own way that there was no need to do a send-up or satire of it. Dave Cooper is a Canadian cartoonist who has also worked as a graphic designer and commercial illustrator, and he began oil painting in 2003. The works portray cartoonish female figures that are surprisingly fleshy, almost as gelatinous as their strange, distorted backdrops. The actions are equally disturbing, exploring lewdness, hedonism, and body image as he searches for his own ideal beauty and sexuality. Describing fashion models as utterly boring, he explains, Instead, my heart races at the sight of an awkward-looking girl with unique flaws and imperfections. Mark Maloney is an American artist whose work is all about sex and gore. According to the artist, almost all art is looking at death and trying to defy it somehow. Guts, exaggerated genitalia, bloody wounds, and large-breasted pinup girls are the staples of his work in his humorous, collage, comic-styled paintings. His matter-of-fact approach is shown through his methodology, on which he simply states, I just relied on my usual methods. Put a boner on something or make it bleed. 
That's it for this week's 5 and 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.